Yes, dog parks may be a great way to get outside, exercise your dog, maybe yourself while getting to socialize with some other canine companions. But dog parks have specific rules and they're important rules that should be followed to keep everyone safe out there. Joining me with the do's and don'ts is Dr. James Spicer, vet with Indy Vet. How are you doing, Dr. Spicer? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining us. So we're talking about dog parks today and what should people do before they head to these dog parks to make sure that they're keeping everyone safe? Well, you know, with the beautiful weather, it's nice to get out with your dog and uh, participate in the dog parks. And actually, Indianapolis is very, very dog park friendly compared to many uh, metropolitan areas. So people should really take advantage of it. But there are some do's and don'ts. So let me go through some of the do's. First thing, make sure your pet is up to date on its vaccinations. Mm -hmm. Distemper, rabies, uh, kennel cough, that, that's very important. And make sure they're on a good flea tick and parasite control as well. That's so important. If you go to the dog park and your dog, uh, you know, makes a mess, clean up after your dog. You know, that's just common manners, really. If you're, if you have a female dog that's intact and they go into heat, don't take them to the dog park. Okay, that's going to create a lot of conflicts with uh, other dogs. You know, many dog parks though don't have water available so take water and maybe a collapse, collapsible dog bowl with you so that your pet can have water and make sure your pet has a collar on that has id on it sometimes they get out of the dog park and run off and we want to make sure that you get your dog back couple of don'ts okay don't take a puppy to the dog park until they are fully vaccinated like 12 to 16 weeks they're fully vaccinated make sure that that is that's just a must okay and don't bring food into the dog park because pets want to eat your food so it can create aggression not only between you and another dog but between dogs that would might like to uh taste your lunch with you don't get distracted on your cell phone or doing other things you're there with your dog play with your dog be attentive to your dog and make sure that the con potential conflicts don't happen and don't bring toddlers or really little tiny children to the dog park because these dogs, some big dogs are running around, they're having fun, and they can run into little kids and knock them over. There can be an injury, maybe completely inadvertent, and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, some good tips there. You know, um, so thank you for providing those for us. It's just something to keep in mind because while we do have this nice weather, you know, I know a lot of people want to get out, Dr. Spicer, so thanks for that. Yeah, it's an awful, it's an awesome time yeah. to get out with your dog and, and enjoy the dog parks that we have here in Indianapolis. Definitely. Well, for a full list of services and education opportunities at IndyVet Emergency and Specialty Hospital, you can go to fox59.com. Ah, Dr. Spicer. All right.